Hey guys, Quinton TV here, and welcome to a brand new video where today we are back with night five or the final night, even though it's not going to be the final video because we are going to be hopefully playing night six and seven. So, uh, yeah, uh, welcome back to the final main night of Five Nights at Freddy's. We got Halloween lights, we're looking extra spooky ourselves, you know, whatever the fuck that means. But yeah, let's jump straight into this fifth night. I'm not looking forward to this because I suspect we are going to die in this night. That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I do have a little strategy from the wiki here, uh, but I'm not sure how, how well this is going to go because I'm very concerned about power usage. If we mainly just check the lights... Oh, Bonnie's moved already. He's in the hall. Uh, in, not in the hall, in the dining area. Foxy's moving. He's now in there. What the fuck? He's moved again. He's now in the hall. This, they're already really aggressive and it's 12 a.m. Freddy's moved. Is that all of them? Yeah. We can't really keep track of them all at this time. So it's probably better we just use the camera to check on Foxy or this area because this is where Freddy can come to. And then just focus mainly on using the lights because Freddy is a strange animatronic. He is a very strange one. He can only attack you if the uh, cameras are up, I believe. So if we close the door, this door here, he can't he can't attack us, but we are gonna use a lot of power that way. And that's what, what I'm really concerned about. Right, we've already been fucking caged in. That's brilliant. Right, he's gone. Quickly check where he's up to. Foxy's not moving. Bonnie's he's back there. Chica's moved. We've wasted enough power there. Just need to check for Fred. Where's Freddy? Right. Check Pirate Cove. Right. We're just gonna follow this strategy. I don't know where Freddy is though, that's the problem. Body's in the corridor. What the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. Oh, is that him? Fucking hell. I did not notice he was there. Right, so apparently, uh something about Freddy. This night can be extremely difficult. Brilliant. Yeah, he's right outside. Get that fucking door shut. Literally, I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. What are we supposed to do? Because you can't get rid of him, I don't think. Unless we have to wait for Chica to come. Which, she better come quick. Unlike most girls, I know. Check pirate code, pull down monitor and open right door. Oh, so, right. Check for them. Close the door, check the cameras. Oh dear. I did not mean to do that. Right, he's still there. That's good. I believe Chica can take his place. So, right. Foxy. Bonnie. I don't know where Bonnie is. Right, Bonnie's in the closet. Again. Freddy's still chilling there. Two very boring minutes later. So basically, any time we need to check... That was close. Yeah. That was very close. No, I did not mean to do that, but... Let me get that door shut. Freddy's gone. He's back there. Right. We got a, a little bit of leeway here. No, he's moved back. 
No, he hasn't. Where's he gone? It would be very handy to know where he is, thank you. I don't know where he is. I actually have no idea. Oh, he's back there. Back. No, he's still there. I don't need to use the power. Oh god, Bonnie's got an arrow first. There we go. Oh no, our first death of the series. No. We didn't check on him enough. No. Uh, obviously, we are going to have another attempt, so you guys will see that. Now, Boxel's singing. Bonnie's moved. Freddy's still there. Right. Try and just focus until we know that they're coming for us. Then we can sort of, you know, just keep ourselves calm and collected. You know, Chica's there, Bonnie's there. We're gonna keep an eye on Bonnie because while I've been dealing with Freddy and Chica through this side, we've kind of like neglected this side a little bit. Other than the Foxy incident, we we sorted him out quite well. All right, Freddy's moved. I heard him laugh. I just don't know where to. Because any usage of the camera stalls Freddy. I believe. Is Bonnie out of the closet yet? No. I can hear footsteps, so someone's moving. I think it may be Fred. Yeah, I can hear his music box again. Bonnie's in the closet. Freddy's moved. I don't know where Freddy is though. Chica's right outside. Got that door shut. Uh Kate Shrek. Where's Fred? I don't know where Freddy is. Got that door open. Chica's there. I don't know where Freddy is at all. Get that door shut. Yeah, good timing. Right, close. Just keep Freddy at bay. Just anytime we want to check the camera, just do that. Bonnie's still in the closet? Oh, he's got us again, for fuck's sake, right? Oh, this is going to be a bit harder, I think. We did last night four, literally first time, but this, this is going to be hard, guys. Right, I just checked the cameras then. Two of them have moved, but until I hear Freddy laughing, I'm just going to do that occasionally with the cameras. Because we just want to know when Freddy is right outside. Bonnie's not in the corridor yet. He probably is now. 1am, that's not too bad. You are joking. Already? What? I literally just checked on the guy. Right, different strategy this time. What I'm going to try and do is um, only use the lights. Like like I was saying then, but um, we can kind of check on where they are. We only need to check the cameras 1C and whenever Freddy pops up. We also don't want Bonnie to get us again. We've had no trouble from the rest of them at all. Even Freddy, who's the hardest one to predict, we've been doing a very good job at keeping uh, him at bay, but apparently we can't do the same for Bonnie. This is intense gameplay, guys. I don't know where Freddy is. Right, I assume Freddy's back now, yeah. Alright, it's imperative right now we do not check the cameras. Until it is safe to do so. Did not mean to do that. Mm -hmm. 
you are joking. He's moved quick, not gonna lie. Yeah, kill me. Go on. I'm waiting for you, motherfucker. There we go. I know it's not gonna help us, but... Yeah. Fuck. Right, we fucked it, guys. Yep. Oh my god, he didn't take the piss that time. Brilliant. We're getting like an hour better. But... Yeah, Freddy's not taking his time today, guys. Right, new coat, same strategy, I guess. Just keep an eye on the lights. Because we know where Freddy's going to be chilling. Uh, this this game is stressing me out, man. I thought I'd be able to do this in about an hour. Currently, I've been doing this for about an hour and 40 minutes. So, that's brilliant. Is this guy just going to jump scare me at random intervals if I leave the door open? Oh, yeah, he just comes anyway. It's good if Bonnie's at the door. He'll kind of get rid of him for me. I am just expecting man to be gone. Every time I look over at Pirate's Cove, every single time I'm expecting him to just be non existent. He's still there. He's still there. It's 4 a.m. He's gone. He's still there, though. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Jesus. Knew it, knew it. Absolutely knew it. He's gonna absolutely smack me, see? I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Foxy always fucks me over. Now, nah, come on, Freddy, get it over with. Oh, don't take the piss this time, bro. There we go. That's nice of you. Are you gonna take the piss here, though? It's really silent. There we go. That did get me a little bit there. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's not the most, um... How do I put it? Convenient of methods to use? Because it's actually kind of annoying. 2am, we've managed to keep him here for two hours. We do need to check on Foxy occasionally, though. We'll do that now. Alright, he's fine. The other two I'm not too worried about, to be honest. Just denying Freddy's movement opportunities is key here. We're not doing too bad, considering we're just denying him all his movement opportunities. It's just Foxy. Just kind of like the spanner in the works for making this plan absolutely perfect. Like, I can't just do this all night. Because that would theoretically deal with all the animatronics. But, you know, there is Foxy. He's designed to be the spanner in the works sort of animatronic. Quickly check. We managed to keep him on stage till 3 a.m. That is not bad. If we can keep him there the whole night, that would be even better, to be honest. Because having to deal with him has been a pain in my assholes. Because this way, we save loads of power by not having to shut the doors. He's still there. 
That's good. If we can keep him on there till like 5 a.m., that would be brilliant. I can last then. It's just these moments where Bonnie and Chica show up, where jeopardize my operation by using too much power. Still on stage and it's 4am. Right, check Foxy real quick. Yeah, he's fine. And I think my constant checking of the cameras is stalling him too. So maybe, potentially here, we are doing two birds with one stone, shagging two birds with one whatever fucking Ali G said. I want to deny both Freddy and Foxy as many opportunity, uh, movement opportunities as I can right here. I know we have 30% power left, which is pretty good. And I know there was a guy that did it with like, what, 40% power left or something ridiculous like that? Check Foxy. Check Foxy. He's moved, but not by a lot. You are joking. I was doing so well. I didn't check it for like two seconds and she comes in and bombs me. Brilliant. We just have to do this all night, basically, and hope we don't get another Chica incident. Right, we can probably just chill out for a minute here. Just keep opening the cameras. Like that. Just not as retardedly as I do it. I can already hear one of them moving about. I think that's Chica. Yeah, it is. And if I want to, you know, put my nose boops in here occasionally, I've got to time it. Oh, Foxy's peeking. Did we just get lucky last night? Do I have to specifically check on Foxy to stall him? Right, body's moved. So that means both of them could be coming for me now. Right, 1am. These guys haven't moved yet. That's the major concern. Like, we did a really good job keeping Freddy off stage, on stage last night. Well, last attempt. I don't think Freddy's moved yet. No, that was a terrible idea. I don't really care where the others are, as long as they're not at my door. Still there. Check on Foxy. Okay, he's becoming a bit frisky. So we do kind of need to worry about him a little bit, it appears. Until he goes back in his cage. Two AM, not too bad. Deny Freddy the movement opportunity. I think when he looks at us, he's showing his disapproval about the fact that I keep freezing him in place with the camera. Mate, it's 2am. Can you fuck off? Thank you. So we can be prepared, because I don't think he's been once yet. Check him. No, he's bit. He's coming.
Right, he's... How did you get here? I had it two seconds. Two fucking seconds. Right, I've done a bit of this off camera. Just because, well, I say off camera, I was recording still, but it just, um, you know, I wasn't talking because we've done all of this part a million times. I'm gonna check Foxy real quick. Right, he's just peeking, that's fine. Stole Freddy, deny him a bit of movement. 50% and we're already at 3 a.m. Not too bad. I just need to worry about Foxy. Freddy, well, Bonnie killed me last time. Cheek has killed me once. I need to worry about them. And denying Freddy his movement. That's going to be the top priorities, I guess, for the evening. Right, he's still just peeking. I was about to say, we've not really had an animatronic show up since probably about 2 o'clock. Or something like that. Hey, right, he's gone. Check box. Right, he's he's emerged. But he doesn't appear to because I've seen him stay like that for hours sometimes. So I spent even on night five, he sometimes just sticks there. 4 a.m. Maybe it's better if we do that. Right, he's still chilling. Oh, this is an intense game. I'm going to try and keep the, some of the commentary to a minimal. Because I am concentrating to try and do everything in the right order here. Just deny Freddy's movements. Keep checking the lights. I don't really care if he moves at like 5 a.m. or some shit. Or like later into the fives. Uh, there's Chica showing up. She's gone. They're getting aggressive now, I can tell you that. I need to stop jumping so much the just pixels on a screen check for foxy while the door's shut bonnie's still camping 5 a.m we may do this guys i don't want to jinx it so we may do this though you are joking How did she do it so quick? Basically, this is just trial and error at this point. I'm literally just going through and hoping for the best. That's literally all I'm doing right here. Same thing again. We don't really need to check the lights as much. Check Foxy. Right, we should be good to go now. Three hours later. All right, guys. Welcome back to 3 a.m. at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza or breakfast at Freddy's, you know, that would be the all-time hit FNAF parody. But um, yeah, we're holding them off, it's 3am, should be changing to 4 pretty soon. And I am developing pain in my wrist, so I may have to stop soon. That's gonna be fun. And basically just come back to this game, because yeah, it is getting a bit annoying now. Just constantly doing this every two seconds. Got to, you know, deny Freddy's movements. Do it carefully. Right, he's gone. Check Foxy. He's not even emerged. That is good. However, there is plenty of time for him to do that left. I think Chica's in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure that's what I can hear. Twenty-eight 
29% on 4 a.m. We might be able to do this. Let's see who will show up next. I reckon it's going to be Bonnie. See what he has to say. When he inevitably appears. Oh, it's Chica that shoot. Up. Oh, they both showed up at the same time. What a treat. Gotta still stall Freddy, even though we are fucked currently. Wait, while we're in this position, yeah, he's still not moved. Right, this door is free to be opened. Please go away, Bonnie. He is full on camp in that door. He is determined. Gotta keep denying Freddy his movements. Can you go away, both of you? I have a feeling Cheek is still gonna go away before Bonnie. No, Chica's... Yeah, she did. Both of you. We have 3% power left. This is getting very close. However, I will keep this up till my dying breath. Oh no, but we're so close to 6am. Yes! Finally! Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Finally. Finally. Mike Schmidt, $120. 11th of December, no, 12th of November. Fazbear and the Memo, valued employee. We did it, boys. We've finally done night five. After two hours nearly of playing this game to add fact more than two hours i finally done it and earned that star so i'm not sure what day you're seeing this but i should be back within a few days doing night six where i have to relive the shit all over again that's gonna be fun but anyway guys that's gonna be it for today's video here if you did enjoy please do the like and subscribe make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a single video or alternatively you can join the discord server as a link down below but anyway this has been Quentin TV, I'll see you all in the next one.